Hi there, my name is Maddie Moore. I'm Marissa Hart. And we're here today to talk to you about our Period Politics Symposium and the Period Pilot Program that came from the symposium starting last year. So way back when, in 2017, ERT, which stands for Unite for Reproductive and Gender Equity, kind of like our shirts, our chapter decided to sit down and talk about what we thought the campus needed in terms of support and advocacy. Our group decided free and accessible menstrual products was something that was on the national trend in higher education and something we wanted to bring here to Otterbein. Because of this, we held the Period Politics Symposium where we invited scholars, activists, and local business women to Otterbein to talk about why free and accessible menstrual products, menstrual equity, and menstrual stigma was something that needed to be brought up in a scholarly environment like here at Otterbein. At the conclusion of the Period Politics Symposium, Urge announced that we had been accepted for a student life grant by the student government here at Otterbein to create and implement our dream program. This symposium serves as a kickoff event to our semester-long free and accessible mental product pilot in partnership with Aunt Flo. The program we created is the Period Pilot Program. So generally the Period Pilot Program overall is just bringing free and accessible menstrual products to Otterbein's campus for the faculty, staff, and students. Um, so the program pretty much is that we have six buildings currently that they're in, the Campus Center, the Science Center, Roush Hall, Library, Equine Center, and the Art Communication Building. Um, these buildings were picked because they were the most accessible to all students on campus and they were the best that we would be able to collect data since it is our pilot program. All of the bathrooms, including um, men's, women's, and gender neutral, are all used for our program and that's because we wanted to be inclusive to all people of all gender identities, sexual identities, um, and especially to sort of combat menstrual stigma and transphobia. Throughout the semester during the period pilot program, we ran into some problems and Marissa, you're going to start us off with some of these problems that have arised. Yeah, so some of the issues that are really big right now are that out of all the boxes that we've implemented on campus, I think about 15 of them have been either taken, uh, destroyed, pulled off the walls, or there's pieces of the boxes literally left on the wall. So that's like a big issue that we're having, especially in the men's and the gender neutral restrooms, which show a lot of fact that there could be transphobia happening on our campus, which is definitely a big issue that we'd like to combat. Another one that we're facing is miscommunication with how we want the boxes to actually be implemented. And what I mean by that is the people we have implementing the boxes, which right now is with service and facilities, are either putting the boxes too high physically that not everyone can have access to reach in them. Another one that's really big is that, as Marissa said, we do have missing boxes now. So now we have ran into this weird intersection where we applied for this money, we were awarded it, we purchased our supplies, but now we need more supplies, but we don't know where that money is to come from. Right, we didn't budget in our costs, sort of the idea that we didn't think that we'd have the issue on our campus, that people would be either destroying our boxes or that they wouldn't be on the walls properly. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely a struggle that we're having of sort of figuring out how we're going to now get new boxes so we can restock them to finish the pilot program and have accurate data to then give to the university to then make this a full-time program. But I think Urge is coming up with a lot of great ideas that we're sort of running into that we can hopefully use to get the money to now purchase new boxes to continue our pilot program. We invite you to join us on the journey of the period pilot program as we go through the struggles and successes of this entire program. You ready, Marissa? I'm ready. Let's go! Hello, vlog number 238. We are now going to collect the product from the basement. Come with. Okay, we're now getting access into the basement. Marissa, what is going on? 
We're getting tampons and pads to restock bathrooms. It's an exciting day. It is. Here are all of our boxes. These are wonderful volunteers. So I created a schedule. It's kind of small right now, but we can make it um, a lot fancier. Um, just so we need to figure out how we're going to continue to stock the boxes for the incoming weeks. And that's sort of our issue too, that once we get all our new boxes, we're going to just need to make sure that we keep up with it weekly and possibly bi-weekly depending on the need for it. As you can see, this is a topic that really matters to Otterbein. It's students, it's faculty members, it's community. And it's up to all of us to really work towards this common goal of menstrual equity for our own campus and community. You may be wondering how you can get involved on this subject. Well, you could even work on talking to your friends about it, opening up a conversation. You can share testimonies, stories to professors, um, community members, your church even, and What's the other thing that I'm missing, Marissa? Ooh. You could join Urge. We meet every Tuesday in library room 11 in the basement at 7 to 8 p.m. And now we urge you to get involved on campus. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> You're so funny. Because you go to a higher ed. Why you're white school. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can't handle your menstrual products. That's what people on Facebook told us. Yes, it was very sad. So yeah, some white lady named Jill was all like, You can't handle your periods, but you go to a white upper class school where you have all your money and you should be able to have all the tampons you need. Because oh, wow. they think that, you know, we're too yeah. rich and we should be able to handle our periods. That come unexpectedly and gush out of our vaginas. Splash zone! <laughs>